Everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quick Sell. Shop well. Shop Quick Sell. You got that? Okay, so last episode went pretty well. Uh, today we are going to take out the main lance, or the secondary lance, I guess, the bigger set of mechs, with the rotary rifles. Because I want to try out this avatar today. Now, oh man... I'm, 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 I don't know, I'm up in the air if this thing's going to work well, because the mission I got selected should be an interesting one for this thing. The pack-up medium lasers is really all we've got here. Hope, hopefully things will go just fine. We got the bolt-on rockets additionally to help out. Now, I don't, now we didn't pick up anything in the last one that I think can help this guy out. Uh, I should have checked before I started the, uh, the video, but I think we're fine here. We do have a, okay, so this upper recoil is slightly better so if we replace that one we get the plus one bonus to hit and what does this guy do it weighs the same it just gives you recoil reduction all right we're gonna go that route i think having the extra plus one accuracy on the arm i think is a good idea and we do yeah that's fine we'll just validate that we'll take the day We'll take the day. Right. I'll get okay, it let's have a quick look here. Get our tasks managed a little better. Should be able to just pop him right to the top. Perfect. All right, we'll take the day and we'll go. There we go. All right, let's not die because this one should be interesting. So let's go to the command center. Take off your shoes. And we're going to grab this guy here. Now, this one should be interesting. It's, it's Marion. Uh, agents that are attacking the base but they have a, an assault class mech closing on the base's location that's okay we got a heavy with rotary rifles to manage that mech but we're going to go full salvage here let's see if we can pick up an assault today uh so let's flush these guys out now did i save somebody was mentioning that i should be saving these guys again i can't remember if i actually saved I saved Jenkins' old Lance, uh, but not the new guys. Yeah, apparently uh, apparently not. So I should probably just, I mean, I know I should save these. I'm going to bring the Hetzer today. Um, I know we said we were going to put that in the second Lance, but I think we need to actually have a little bit of extra firepower. If there is that, like I said, if there is a assault class mech that's there, that's gonna have to be dealt with. I would rather have a nice strike vehicle that I can actually uh, use that's gonna work really well. So Boomer's coming down here. I will save this when I'm done. So Iron Sides, come on buddy, what do we got for you? You are Pegasus Galleon. Um, what, okay. I know where everybody goes. I do, honestly. Right? I do. Cloudbuster. Uh, Vengeance is at the top. And Vision down. No, not there. You know where he goes. Stop being obtuse. All right, goes right there. Now, we're going to save this. Uh, okay, you got to click it here, I guess. Just going to call it B-Lance. We'll confirm that. Let's go. And hopefully we don't die. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Well, this should be very interesting. Oh, man, this map. Yeah. Turrets and sabotage. What else is new? Engineers are on their way. Let's hope they make it. I've had a couple matches with the engineers. Don't even make it to the base. All right, and we have got the ability to drop. Okay, they got, I think that's an additional lance. Uh, do they have a primary lance? No, that's them. That is them. So they are on this side of the base this time. All right, that gives them lots of cover, which is an issue because I was hoping to deal with most of them before 
turn four. And they got some height up there, which means this building's vulnerable. So what do I want to do here? I think I want to start where there's some mobility. So maybe by the roads, we can get our vehicles moving. I can't get any further that direction. I don't want to be too far away because I have no idea where the uh, additional mechs are dropping. So I'm going to put, put down right here, I think. Let's do this and hope we don't die. So just want to give you guys a bit of a heads up as we're starting here. Um, so for the next couple of weeks, there I may not be able to do like kind of like a video every day. Uh, my kids heading out to Switzerland for the premiere of their film, finally after uh, shooting it last year. Um, but it's uh, in a festival in Switzerland, so they'll be heading out. We just got some stuff we got to tie up and do stuff around here. So I might be able, not be able to record every day. I'll do my best to try and get as many videos posted as I can. Looks like we're going to get turrets. Nice. Um, I'll do my best, but like I said, it might be slow for the next little bit. So we got an Apollo, a Corsair, Orion. So they got two lances here. Well, that's shit. Did that just say TBM-20 carrier? It did, didn't it? Oh, fuck's sakes. No, shoot the TBM-20 carrier. Yeah. It better only have two. It better only have one. Oh boy, they drop mines. Alright, it's not so bad, I guess. All right, Commander. Let's. That's thirty-one. Still a fair number of mines. That puts me exposed. To, wait, we got somebody up here too. What's this guy? Oh, of course, Panzer Habitza. How do I want to play this? Because you know damn well that Orion is not the uh, assault mech. So can we just... What's the best route out of this minefield? And then... Alright, let's get around this way. Oh god, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. We can get a pot shot off at this guy. Let's get some chaff on him as well. Might as well. ER mediums, LBX-10, LRM-15. Nice. Alright, got some chaff on him. That's going to help. What can we do here to mitigate damage? So the... TBM-20 launcher's got to go. I have no idea what the Corsair's got. Like damage, Commander. Yeah, we got to get moving here. Ready to rock. Where are you? Right in the middle of everything. Because of course, why wouldn't you be? Twenty-one, twenty-five. Let's get up here. Gonna stay behind this wall. All right, I don't think we can't not um, do this. We want LK or EMP or incendiaries. I think we, we I think we want to try and kill this guy. I don't know. I don't think we'll be able to do it. I don't know if this guy's XL or not. I don't think he. Uh, he might be. Uh, yes. Come on, land. Now that the Thunderbolt missed. Alright, we got we opened him up though. Ha, you like that? I don't think that he did. Oh, he's gonna approach. Cool. I'll see your LRM burst and raise you a pair of rotary rifles. What's up, what I'll do. You're not gonna get a shot at him, are you? 
Only if I go through the minefields. 18 mines, that's not too bad. That also gives me a shot at the Corsair. I gotta get this guy into play. Let's get out this way. Affirmative. I hate going through the mines, but we have to be into play here sooner rather than later. Not the best chance to hit either. And I think he's only in range with the Boltons. No, he's in range with the Rotaries. That's a lot of rockets. So this is the older Corsair. AC-20. So he's out of range with that. That's standard. He's open here, right? Um, do I want to minimize my recoil? At two, we have zero recoil. Two shots, we have zero recoil. I want to go after the TBM carrier. You've got to remember, too, we've got a whole other lance coming down. We've got lots of this, though. What if we split it up? What if I bring you down? Better chance to hit, we'll run the AP, APFSDS. We'll go three shots each. We'll take a bit of recoil this turn. And let's see what we can do with this guy. We'll see if we can capitalize on it. It's anything here. Copy that. All right, not bad damage. Reporting critical hit. I gotta think longevity, right? If they still have an assault, well, maybe it's the Corsair. Maybe it, what's the Corsair way? I thought this was like 70 tons or 80, 75 tons or something. It might only be a heavy. Fuck you and your habitsa. Skipper. All right. Well, oh, it's only 15 if we go through. Only 15 if we drive through. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Doing this. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Yeah, you kick it. And I'm saving the double this turn. I'm gonna use this guy's open. Yeah, we took a few landmine hits there. Oh shit. Now he's open. We're gonna switch to this. And hopefully, hopefully we get some crits off this. Hopefully. Let's take a shot at him, because I want the double for somebody else next turn. Okay, he got a heat sink crit. That hit something good. Ballista, of course. I don't think we're going to get through this. And get paid. We'll get through it. Whether or not we get paid is the other story. It's garbage chances to hit. Opens me up to the Corsair. This opens me up to shooting my own guy. It is five chevrons of evasion though. I hate having to go through the mines again, but... We need to make something happen, so I have to sacrifice a little bit here. And let's hope we land something. Engaging target. No, fuck. I was hoping we could take that side. Failed to connect. We do have vengeance. Commander. They've cleared most of the mines for you, girl. Let's get up here. We're shooting over our own guy. I think you're probably accurate enough to do that. I think you're accurate enough to do that. I'm not going to go and use the Thunderbolts yet. I'll wait for a bigger fish. And I know this doesn't matter. But psychologically, it's going to make me feel better. Now the minefield, we'll use on somebody else, I think. If we use it at all. I gotta take that off, I think. I don't think that's really... Locking on. 
think we hit our own guy. Did we? No, maybe not. Yeah, we did. Oh. Well, I hate to say this. I'm glad he used his um, rockets on that. We can still do this. They gotta kill four more buildings. Fuck, why do I open my mouth? Alright, if we're gonna make this work, we really need to hammer these guys hard. Okay, we got turrets up. Turrets on round three. What do we got for turrets? Probably nothing that's actually can shoot back. Standard LRM turret. Heavy shredder turret on the wrong side. Light standard turret. And then what do we got in here? Heavy AC turret. Well, at least it's distracting them. It'll give me a turn to get into play here. Oh, man. I don't know what's... I think the TBM carrier is the biggest threat at this point. So I think i got to go after that guy. Come on. Finish him off for me. I think we have to use the uh, Cloud Buster on that guy. Standing by. Uh, that's a pretty good chance to hit there. We can't shoot anybody else, so let's move up. At least we've cleared the road a little bit. And don't shoot the fucking Hetzer. Please, just don't shoot the Hetzer. Um, we're out of range with the SRM. We'll fire the chop again. It's fine. Confirmed. Yes! That's a kill. That's a kill. So the Hetz is in a good strike position, but it is also in a position to get hammered hard by that Corsair. Now, where is the TBM carrier? Because I think I want to target that guy. I don't think it's got a lot of armor. Prowler, right there, right in the midst of everything. I'm taking heat damage. Would you just stop? Orders. Everybody's got fucking problems, and here you are complaining. I'm taking heat damage. Uh, we're all fucking dying here, so let's not complain about a little bit of heat damage. Let's strike this Apollo. Aye, aye. This is probably a bad idea moving up like this, but they're gonna they're gonna wreck this base if I don't. So let's get up here. I'm gonna put the mines in there though. Two X pulses and a couple of MML nines. All right. Oh, head hit. Nice. That helps. I'm out of short range missiles. I like eleven activations of bleeding. Oh yeah. So yeah. Thank you for the person that uh, did mention that the a uh, uh, couple episodes back that the um, trebuchet the pilot bled out. I figured that's what it was, but it's hard to hard to know because I you know I, I how often I actually read things. And I know it's a problem, but when you're like severely ADHD, it's like reading things is, is painful. It's kind of important, but still painful. I think we can get the uh, Hetzer into here to block the Corsair's line of sight and get a shot at the TBM carrier this turn. I think if we can land the double on that thing. Uh, yep. All right, Boomer, can we get a shot on the Apollo? You can. I know we should be dropping recoil at this point, but uh, we don't really have a choice here. I gotta leave you on. Let's just drop one of these. Does the, uh, the incendiary is not really going to matter, though. Let's drop a pair of these. Ooh. 
O... I gotta be able to move next turn. Let's save a bit of heat. Let's just shoot this at him. Alright, that added a lot of instability. He's already gone this turn. Maybe we'd use the, uh... No, I was gonna say maybe we use the double 20 on him, but that's just a mistake. We gotta go after the, uh... The TBM carrier. Alright, Ballista taking a bit of damage. Stand in by. Ooh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in to get the, uh... That's just a sacrifice there. We can't do that. Um... Can't get a clear blue line on the Apollo, eh? Oh, we can. It's not the best spot. We do have a chance to shoot our Centurion in the back. But... We gotta do something here. Oh, that's a pretty good chance. We'll take that shot. Copy that, Commander. I think we hit the vehicle, though. Looks like we hit the vehicle. We did. Okay. Hopefully our turrets can do some damage to that thing. Much as I want to shoot for it, it's like... It's a waste of gunnery at this point. Halbitza. Oof, nice shot. Damage minimal. Yeah, 50 hit. A 50 hit like that, though. It's not good stuff. Commander. Alright. Um... We have no movement. That's our full sprint. Because we're super hot. Move here. Can we use anything? Now we can't use anything. Can't use anything. Okay, we'll take that. Unsteady. What are your orders, Skipper? Oh, it's tempting to try and kill that guy. But we know who has to go. This guy right here. Actually, I can get. Shit, I can't. It just opens me up to attack. Okay, we're gonna do this. And then if we can't get a good shot at the TBM carry, I'll put a couple in the back of the uh, Apollo. Forty-eight. Ninety-one. I think we need to go for a kill shot. So let's go this route. Damn it. Not enough. Maybe the turrets can help with a knockdown? Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Which, by the way, thank you for the suggestion on that for the next, for the uh, Lamb series. The pilot will definitely be Chinese. <laughs> you will, they will be my Chinese jet pilot. Because then I can't use that saying anymore. In case you don't know where that comes from, it's our Army of Darkness. Yeah. We didn't even get the kill, and these guys are like hammering the buildings. Heads up, Commander. Oh, really? Hostile contacts inbound. Sure. Oh, fuck. They couldn't have dropped in a worse spot. Please be nothing. Oh, that doesn't look like nothing to me. Why does that not look like nothing? Ryokin. Phoenix Hawk. Cephalus. And a purifier. Damage is light. Oh, for fuck's sakes, we're in a lot of trouble. This fact that this thing is stealth. All right. Well, at least they're on this all on one side. Oh, Marauder. Battle armor. Okay. Why are you shooting at the battle armor? Got more important fish to fry. 
My question is, is do I drop the recoil this turn with the uh, Ultra 20s? Or do we go after something else? We're in a, we're in a bad initiative this turn. Wow. Really bad initiative. Oh god, this is going to be painful everybody. This is going to be painful. I was really hoping, like really hoping that they would spawn back here. Because then it will take them several turns to get into the base and I can kind of solidify this situation. I have, I, I've got a sneaky feeling that that uh, TBM-20 carrier is going to be the clincher in this match. And I know I didn't shoot for it last turn, but removing that Apollo would have been like a huge bonus for us. It clears the way for the rest of my mechs to push through here, but... Ah, oh, man. Okay. The flank? We deal with it. Oh, shit. We got more guys behind us. Because, of course, we do. Where? That had to have been battle armor. I don't see it. Um, or was it these guys? No. Maybe. No, nah, I don't think it, it doesn't look like it was. Oh, it could have been these guys. You know what? It may have been these guys. I think these are the infantry. Oh, there's more up here, though. I don't know, then. <sighs> this guy. This guy. I mean, if we landed an Ultra 20 or Double 20 shot in the torso, if he's not in the trees, we could take that torso. It's sad that we, I haven't had a chance to load, rec, wind up these rotaries yet, but at least we dropped recoil last turn. I'm going to wind them up this turn, and it's probably going to be a Ryokin strike, because it's the closest. Okay, we're going to forget about the Corsair. He's got an AC-20, but he's too far away, so we'll forget about that guy. Ah, oh, fuck. That hurt. Well, we know what his lasers are. We need to overheat that guy. So he's taking EMP from the uh, Centurion this turn. We're going to forget about the Apollo. We're going to back up and go after that Ryokin. He's got to come down now. Now. So, first things first. We're going to bring the Hetzer back to strike him from behind. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. They did a shit ton of damage to this thing. I, well, at least this time it worked in my favor. So we're going to bring the uh, Hetzer back, and I am going to take a shot at this guy's back. Because if we can get a quick kill, bonus. We'll take it. Bob's your uncle. But if we miss the quick kill, then everybody else is going to pull back slightly. Minimize the um, enemy's ability to uh, see Come us. On. And everybody's going after this Ryokin. Shit, 6%. I think we have to drop recoil. It's going to change once we get there, though. Shit, I thought there was a green for the Phoenix Hawk as well there. There is, but we don't... Yeah, we just don't have the rotation in the uh, turret. It's got to be... It's got to be solid green. All right, we'll take a shot. Right, let's move. Solid green is made at a double AC-20. I think it's going to be garbage. Yeah, we don't have the... Uh, we don't have the juice for this. So I'm going to just end my turn, not even fire the machine guns. 
We should get the MG back. It should unjam. Nope, it didn't. Damn it. But at least he knows we're there now. So this is battle armor. We gotta stay the fuck away from these guys. And it was, I think, what shot the Cloudbuster, which is probably a good thing. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. Yeah, we're gonna catch a lot more serious shit. Yeah, we got Commander. this guy right on us. So we're damaged right side. So we're gonna go here, drop our instability, and put our left side to most of the enemy, and go after this guy. And we will use the chaff. Oh yes! Now hopefully the avatar can get to his flank. We spread that damage. Oh, torso. I have a feeling this thing's XL. I have a feeling it's XL. So I'm going to get load up the APFSDS and hopefully we can get a side shot if the Avatar has dropped enough uh, heat at this point. I'm pretty sure it has. And then we're just going to wind up those uh, racks. And if we can shoot across his bow, maybe we'll hit the Phoenix Hawk with a couple of misses. Damage you know, it's been forever since people have gone after this stealth. They normally just leave it alone. I'm kind of shocked that they're actually shooting at it now. We cannot get a side shot, so we're going to walk it. If that's the best we can do, that's the best we can do. Well, that's hot. We can go with three, we'll go with the boltons. Get some damage in on this thing, hopefully. Okay. Not happy with this thing. It's 70 tons right now of wastedness. I'm still. I'm sure we're still, see like searing because of the uh, the uh, incendiary hit. Garbage. A little better. We have to be at a certain range to be effective here. Puts my back to the uh, to the enemy, and I don't want that. Uh. Is that just a move then? Oh shit! Why does it fucking do that? Oh, for fuck's sakes! You saw me click on move, right? And then it just... Oh, for fuck's sakes. Well, I guess we lost that mech. Might as well use a thunderbolt. Hopefully we uh, land a shot here. Fuck. That didn't hit? No. Well, the Centurion's gonna hopefully cover your back. <sighs> now, I wouldn't mind it so much if it wasn't like a, a high-stress battle. But now we're in this high-stress battle, and I don't think I can actually cover your ass. I can. Kind of. I gotta sprint. Can't drop my instability. I expose myself to battle armor now. I gotta drop, uh... 
Yeah, I gotta drop the uh, recoil. Fuck, I was. Ah, uh, well. Copy that. Okay, a little bit of EMP on that guy. I'm receiving you. Let's give him somebody else to shoot for. The lag sometimes in this game is just frustrating Double as hell. Time. Let's go. Fifty-two. I'm interested. This blue line over here, forty-six on the Apollo. So we're not shooting on this side. We'd be shooting on this side. We couldn't get a kill here. Although he hasn't fired in the past couple of turns. That's not going to be a kill shot. We'll take this shot. Hopefully we land something here. All right. Oh yeah. Nice. Hopefully those were CT hits. And that's in, that uh, Phoenix Hawk is like roasting here. Yes! No kill, but that was good damage. As long as you're not hitting me. Okay, that was mostly leg. I really hope we don't learn, lose the Stormcrow here. I mean, it's, I know it's a nominee mech, but still, it's like having to rebuild that thing now from scratch. I think we have enough material just to replace everything, but this thing is going to be the death of us. The double 20 has got to go back and take that guy. Okay, our initiative's a little better this turn. Good thing that cooling truck's uh, roaming around in there. He's just waiting for a breakthrough on the wall. That's what he's doing. Okay, Ryakin goes on 14, which means we might be able to get a shot off before him. He's dropping heat. Purifiers. Okay, I think if I don't shoot those guys, they're going to start heading for the buildings. There's the Cephalus. Yeah, it's just got a tag. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Road Rash goes on 16. We gotta get her out of that area. Yeah, keep on him. Maybe he'll go down before the battle's out. I mean, at least we have Orion parts if we survive. Because I'm pretty sure we do have a bunch of Orion. No, we don't. That's the other playthrough. I think we had two Orions we didn't put together. But still, Orion would be nice. We could uh, swap out um, the Centurion for the Orion. The Stealth we got to look at getting rid of, but it's fast and it's a nice striker. And it's up until this playthrough... It's been going under the radar most of the time, like most of the enemy don't shoot at it. Which is why I keep using it, because it, if they're not going to shoot at it, it's basically a free mech on the battlefield. But now that it's damaged, they're kind of like, hey, let's kill this guy. Oh, let's kill this guy. Now the question is... I got one free shot against that Ryokin. And we can either use the rotary... Two. No, looks like it's going to be Road Rash. She goes on 16. Do they have somebody like on 15 or... No, which means the Ryakin's going next. Alright kiddo, can you get around over here? You can, we do have somebody behind us. Raven. I can't even focus on those guys right now. We have to do this. I copy. I know we're kind of exposing ourselves a little bit here. SRM, please. And let's get as much damage and hope we get this leg. Here it comes. Nope. Good damage, though. Inflicted some heavy damage. I guess the Corsair is the assault mech. Which I don't really care about. We can pull this Ryokin down. 
Uh, the Apollo is nice salvage. The TBM-20 carrier, where are you? Right there now. I don't think you're in striking distance of the, uh... Skipper. This guy. Confirmed. I don't think I can get a side shot on him, can I? Fuck. Every time it does that, it's freaking me out now. Do I stay here, or do I try and kill this Ryokin? At least knock his leg off, right? That fucks our LRM chances to hit, but... Let's get in- I'm gonna do it. We're gonna drop our instability. I'm just gonna hammer this guy. I want him dropping a load in his pants. Um... Let's go with incendiaries this time and hammer them. I got you. There goes the leg. Reporting critical hit. All right, we got a chance to get this guy now. Injury resisted minus two initiative. He goes on eleven. Confirmed. Now. Can we get the TBM carrier? That is a shot of the TBM right there. I think we have no choice but to do it. We don't have a choice. If we don't kill that thing, it's going to it's going to kill all the buildings at once and then we'll lose this match and then we get nothing out of it. As tempting as it is to try and kill this thing at this moment. 19%, eh? Oh, God. Copy that. See ya. He's down. He's out. Okay. Kind of still puts us in strike range, kind of. I have no idea what these guys are over here, so it's probably a full stealth lance. Yes, Commander. Oh my god, you got out of it okay. On my way. Gonna capitalize on this mech being down. Alright, we picked up something here. Rage in two. Oh, it's only round five! God damn! Let's core this guy. We gotta get rid of him. I can't, uh, I can't be fucking around here. Affirmative. Hostile eliminated. We still, ha I mean, they still have the ability to kill us here. That Panzerhaubitz is gonna, f I know it's gonna fuck us over. But this Cephalus, I think, is gonna take a couple of rotaries in the back. I wasn't exp I don't, you know, I think when I was building this avatar, I wasn't expecting the heat scale to be that ridiculous with the rotaries. So I think what we need to do is turn one on, fire all of the shots. Ah, you, you hit, damn it. Major armor loss. Yeah. We'll deal with him next. Yes, Commander. I wasn't expecting the rotaries to be so damn hot. That's my fault. Wow. They got minimum range too, I guess. I guess I'm not putting one in the back. Oh, wait. Okay. Wait, are we in trees here? We are. 
That's a little better. Move up here. Got it. So I think what we need to do with this thing until I can figure out the heat situation is do... We'll turn these to five and we should alternate between them. Actually, that's... I can get three off before being ridiculous, huh? Oh, you got a shit ton of armor, too. one on this guy. No, I think we need to take the chance on this guy. I should have tested this mech on an easier battle. That's my fault. All right, we're going to drop some heat here. I'm just going to fire three rounds, and then we'll figure out what we're doing next turn. Target acquired. Oh, we got the Panzer Halbitzer though. <laughs> See, if you want to wipe out a, if you want to wipe out something, just put it between you and what you're shooting at. Give yourself a really low chance to hit at what you're shooting at, and problem solved. <laughs> at least we got something out of that. What's this idiot here? This is the. Uh, He's the sniper artillery. All right, Prowler. The, la the laser AMS on this thing is integrated. So not much I can do about that. All right, at least it's only tags. I'm here. Get over here. We'll see what it is in the TBM carrier, and if it's garbage, then we'll shoot at the back of the Cephalus here, regardless. Okay, Cephalus 39. I don't give a crap about those guys. 33. We'll take the 33. All right. And we hit the seat. We hit this thing again. There's something wrong. Like, I know it's technically garbage on the roadway that was blocking you. Here, you keep running away. But that's the amount that I hit those things. Yes. It's the stealth lance now that we have to worry about. But the amount that I hit those garbage mechs, the worst it gets. What the hell do these guys have? I have no idea. Why do I have a feeling it's going to be bad for me? It's only round five. Half the battle is, is almost over. This thing's got to die, though. Okay, shooting at the turrets. Gives me one more turn. I got to drop recoil first, though, from the Ultra 20. Or the Double 20. And this fucking purifier is, like, right in the way of where I need to go. Fuck. Mr. Zappy. It's a Tazor. Okay, it's beginning around six. Shit. No, no, no. You don't know. Bad purifier. We're just gonna run away. Well, the Avatar can't really run away, but we're gonna try and move away. <laughs> We're going to try and move away from that thing. Alright, we're... I don't know. This is the only guy I've got to kill on this side. So maybe I send the Cloud Buster and the Hetzer after that thing. 
I'll use the, my three mechs to pull this Phoenix Hawk down this turn. He's going on. I go on 22. He goes on 19. We didn't lose any weapons, but we are XL, so I gotta be careful about this. Well, he's gifted us. He's gifted himself to us. Ah, oh, fuck. Thanks for helping me out. Appreciate it. My old mama can hit harder than that. Orders. I've met your mom. I know she can. Alright, we're gonna do this. It's really our only hope of, like, making sure this guy goes away now. We might get lucky here. Let's just take this shot. Targeting for now. Oh, you missed with the big one. Reporting critical hit. I know I could have tried to push him back, but I don't think he would have gone back beyond behind the Stormcrow. And it would have just been waste of the targeting. I would have, I need to do damage. Now we'll see what he does. I don't know what this Phoenix Hawk's gonna do. He's most likely gonna try and finish off the stealth. Most likely. Which is a problem for me, which means because he's going to close. And then i got to worry about shooting my own guy if I start try and target him. So we'll see how it goes. As soon as this Phoenix Hawk's gone, then I think I can just... I'm not worried about the uh, TBM carrier because, like I said, my vehicles are going are gonna to chase that guy down. i got to worry about this side. Yeah, please feel free to leave the battlefield. Just go, I don't, like, why would you want to stick around and fight? I mean, that is technically what you're being paid for, but if you want to leave, who am I to argue, right? Who was that? Phoenix Hawk? It was. Damage minimal. He's going to move now. Question is, though, is he going to jump? If he jumps, he's dead meat. Come on, just jump it, Bubba. You know you want to jump. There you go. See? Teamwork. And he shut down. He's dead. You are dead, my friend. Well, you ain't really my friend, but you are dead. Uh, yep. All right, we got to drop recoil. Uh, so where are we going to drop recoil, guys? Right here. Double time. Let's go. You know why? Because both of these vehicles can't shoot me. <laughs> the TBMs and the uh, and the sniper, I think, has a minimum range. I'm not worried. Hopefully, we can get our machine guns back. And eh, no. Standing by. Bigger fish to fry. That cephalus can stay. I don't. I mean, we got a backstrike on him, but bark that. We got to kill this thing. Oh, that's a nice chance to hit. Hammer him. Roger that. Nice. It's nice being able to have a couple of vehicles that you can kind of, well, I don't want to say rely on, but that you can go, you know, safely go, I'm going to stick these two vehicles on this guy and not have to worry about them. Okay, so he missed. Damage minimal. Ready for orders. Aye, aye. All right, Vengeance Demon. Please make sure you land with everything because I don't want you to uh, hit my own guy here. Now, do we have any heat issue? We do not. Say hello to my little friend. Target lock on enemy here. Tango down. You get one chance in this world to make a difference. That's all I'm going to say. And if you want to spend it by trying a death from above attack on one of my guys and then jumping and shutting down you're not going to make a difference in this world that's all I'm going to say well there goes the turret that's fine that prowler could be a wild card could be a wild card I'm more worried about these guys though 
This guy's kind of funny come back. He's like, I thought I could leave, but ready for orders. Everybody's dying. I can't leave. I really want to shoot this cephalus in the back, but then I open myself up to these fucking turd blossoms here. Oh. I got to turn my back to the enemy to do it, though. Well, that's a walk. Hmm. All right, let's position ourselves. I'm glad I dropped my heat. We'll position ourselves here. The Avatar should be able to handle those guys in theory. So the recoil isn't that bad at this point. Now, if I turn this guy on, we got ridiculous heat. That's with two shots. If I cycle in the mediums, it's hot. And the bolt-on rockets. Now, can we get a quick kill here? We could. Or do I want to save it? Drop my heat and recoil. Yeah, see, that's a waste of a shot. I'm going to drop my recoil here, I think, because I want to try and really open up on one of those guys. So let's just shoot this guy with what we got here. I'm going to hold on to the rockets, though. We got one left. Uh, let's just fire the medium lasers at this guy. Hopefully we can get him to run away. That's kind of ineffectual, but Confirmed. not much else we can really do. But with this guy, guy drop heat as well. So let's just let's drop the recoil from this. Let's drop this. Let's switch these to LK. And see if we can target the... No? Yes, it's only 7% though. We're not going to get a kill though. 20% in the Corsair. He doesn't have anything he can do to us though at the moment. Let's just take a pot shot at this guy's back. Maybe he'll run away. Affirmative. Or maybe he'll just shoot them all down with his uh, AMS that I forgot that he had. Nice. That was one of our turrets. Probably the standard turret here. Yeah. What is that guy? That guy's got some heavy shit. Oh, nice. Well, at least we got one of them, I think. That's bad. That's good. That's good. Got a big hole in the wall here. Maybe the uh, coolant truck can actually go out and do something. And maybe I'm what? You know what I am. Well, at least next series I will be. I don't want to tangle with that Corsair at this point. Round seven, we got four turns left. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, 28, this Raven's gotta go. Now he was hit last turn. What are you doing? Okay. Nice. Keep working on him. So this Raven was hit last turn. So maybe he'll back up? I mean, it looked like he took a... I think this is like an Ultra 10 position? Oh, Parabasey 10s. Okay. Even better. Don't have to worry about jam. At least we go on 19. Yeah, he's backing up. So I think... I wonder if I can get the Avatar around, get a shot at that TBM carrier. That will free up the uh, Hetzer to go after somebody else. Thanks for showing up. 
guy's going after the Centurion. We might be able to slip around behind him. Battle armor's backing up. This guy's still got his bad side facing outwards. So LRM-5 Delta and a couple of Thunderbolts. Shit. Stay up. Warning, heavy damage. Yeah, just stay on your damn feet. Good to go. Okay, I think we need to, uh... I think we have to engage on this side. God, it's such garbage chances to hit, though. Yeah, I got a targeting computer in this thing. It's a Mark III. Optics. It's not helping me. This means we gotta drop these next turn. We're bound to land one shot for 60 damage. We might land two over here. For the same. That's a lot of lasers. This avatar is just food right now. Nothing. Negative damage. You know, this thing sounded great in general. <laughs> like, when you put it on paper, it actually sounds great. I made a huge error with the heat. We definitely need to get an exchanger in there. That guy finally got a shot off at us. Definitely needs an exchanger. Commander. I don't care about those guys. What I do care about is those guys. Aye, aye. We got some range, so let's use it. So, TBM carrier hasn't gone yet. This guy has. Can we get a kill? We might get a kill if we hit the side or the. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that guy. Let's see if we can get this guy. Confirmed. Okay, tags on, chaps on. That might help a little bit. I mean, in reality, not really. But guys, finally coming back to the battle. Yes, commander. What do you say you just casually saunter yourself up? Just saunter up there. Just stare right into their cockpit. It's just like, hey, what's up? Hey. You like those missile launchers? I got a couple of large lasers. Should have brought lasers. Mech destroyed. I probably should have run with PPCs on that, now that I think about it. I should have run with the PPCs on this thing. I think maybe that's what we do after this match is over. Because the rotaries, while in theory are good right now, I don't think I've got the gear to do it successfully. Definitely need to, to crank back. Like We need stuff for recoil. Um, but we could run three PPCs heat efficiently. Oh good, he's still going. Orders. Because there's no hidden, like, um, I hope that's far enough. There's no hidden, uh, heat cost. That's not going to be far enough. Go here. Affirmative. You're into the battle next turn. Garbage. We'll take that. Rotary's got a good chance to hit. I'm going to use the Thunderbolt on him. Maybe we can get the kill here. 
We're going to stick with LK on this guy. Actually, we'll go to Incendiary, I think. Yeah. Hopefully we don't hit the Hetzer. We should be fine. Ten four. Yep, Thunderbolt hit. Beautiful. That guy's gone. Hetzer's in heat, but I don't care. All right. Enemy eliminated. Hetzer's freed up to do some work now. Do I want to go after that Corsair? We got three turns. Nah, he's got a 20, though. It's going to be a better chance to hit than that. Although, I think we need to be over here. I think we need to be over here. The avatar is weak. I can't not uh, support it with other people, so we have to bring him over. And let's just uh, use the one machine gun on this guy. Copy that. Not having a good day unjamming those machine guns. That didn't hit. No. Get your. Oh, there you go. Why do I even open my mouth? You. Okay. Don't misclick. Right there. Roger that. Full speed. Let's see if we can get a shot off on this guy. Wow, really? Well, good thing it's good thing ammo's cheap. Locked on rear armor. Oh, we got one hit. Nice. Penned. Be nice to get some cephalus salvage. That's a triple XL engine in that thing. Sorry, double XL, I guess. Be nice if we could take him down and get that in the salvage, because I think if you that's like almost a million when you sell it. Look at this thing. You arrogant bastard. He knows my rotaries are inefficient, that are, are ineffectual. He's like, ah, things got rotaries, but who cares? He's not landing anything. What's <laughs> what good is it? Yes. Hit him hard, baby. Let him know you see him. He's getting close. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. I'm losing armor bad. Did he get on me? He's on me. Shit. I didn't think he had enough. I did not think he had enough. He had to come through the trees, so I don't know how the hell he got on me like that. It's kind of frustrating that they can board you and do damage in the same turn at the end of their full movement. I mean, I guess technically mechs are shooting at the end of their full movement. So I guess it's... I don't know. Maybe I'm just upset at that I, <laughs> I got played on the rules there. It's probably the case. We just have to hold on for... This is round eight. We got two more after this one. Is he actually... He's on, he's on me. Okay, I'm going to have to shake him off. The thing I don't... I, I disagree with, though, is that I spend my movement shaking them off, but then I can't fire at them. So they can just, what, immediately board me again? That's like, why shake them off, then? What's the point? They're just going to keep boarding you and doing damage. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's how it played before, though. Or maybe I can shake and then move. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've been ambushed by uh, elemental... Oh, look, I mean, I was sure. Like, they had to come through the trees. They were right here. That's a little bit... Alright, maybe the extent of their movement. Receiving you. Okay, let's go here. Aye, aye. We're not going to be able to shoot too much, but we're going to shoot a little bit this guy. We might as well go and see if we can get a kill here. Let's drop this one. Bolt-on rockets. Medium lasers. Let's do this. Putting one in the back. There you go. Finally getting a kill. 
Enemy down. You know it's bad when you've got a pair of heavy rotary rifles and you got to resort to killing somebody by shooting them in the back. All right, 23. Who's going on 23? Petzer's on 15. Yeah, as much as I want this Corsair, there's... We're not going to get this. We won't get enough of it in salvage. And it's got a lot of armor. Ah, fuck off. We're holding out, though. I mean, we're kind of okay here. Waiting for orders. Uh, you're going to reserve. Because I want to see what happens with the Centurion. Yeah, you paid for carrying the TBM for killing the TBM carrier, but that was a lot of splash, so we should be fine. And then we're, we'll be out of his range next turn. Yeah, so definitely vehicle skills. If you're going to go, if you're looking at your pilot skills for vehicles, it's definitely the, um, is it, well, not iron sides. What's the one? Yeah, it's iron sides. It gives you the plus one movement. You definitely want that one. And you want as much I'm taking heat damage. movement as possible. I, I'm finding that having more piloting and more guts is better than having more gunnery and more tactics. In that the gunnery and tactics gives you a better chance to hit for sure. But the other two, with the movement that you get and the evasion generated, it keeps the vehicle alive for a lot longer, which means you're firing for a lot longer. And yeah, you may be, what, 10-15% chance lower to hit? But if you're firing your weapons for another three turns or more after that, then it's way worth it, right? Yep. All right, Boomer, let's uh, shake these fuckers. So roll SWAT. So SWAT does damage, correct? We'll attempt to remove the swarming battle armor with hands, limbs. We'll roll self knockdown to remove swarming battle armor. That's not good. Being fancy for barrel rolls to get rid of Swarm and Bound Armor, but suffer a significant attack penalty while doing so. So let's go with Erratic Maneuvering. Confirm. And I think we move, and there's a chance that they just drop off. we got to go as far as we possibly can. Actually, I'm going to go into the trees, because if they decide to come after me again... I got you. Did we lose them? We didn't lose them. Fuck, we're dead. We're dead. Firing. Might as well get a shot off while well, we can. My long range missiles are out. Alright, I was hoping we would drop Ready. those guys, but we didn't, so. Let's move over here. I copy. Everybody stay away from the Centurion. <laughs> Let's fire hit this guy. Nothing, eh? Damn it. Yeah, you had a pretty good chance to hit too. What the hell are you doing? To go. Hmm. It's too late to try for that guy. I was going to say maybe we move over there and try for him, but... The Hetzer's moved away, there's no point. Okay, not the best. On my way. We'll take this, though. Drop our instability, take a shot at this guy. Alright, nice. We got turrets still to go too, so maybe they can capitalize. Shit, he's got two large lasers. I don't think they've got enough juice to pull the buildings down at this Waiting point. Orders. Copy that. We're gonna keep on these guys on this side, I think. I think the, their best chance is probably these guys over here. 
probably. That Prowler is still a wild card in my ass, but he's shooting at the Avatar, so... We're kind of okay in that respect. What are your orders, Skipper? You got almost no armor left. This thing is like... That's why I'm vigilancing. I want to get in and get a shot off and then... Bail. It's a little better. We're going to try and take this shot here. We'll see how it is when we get close. It's probably still going to be garbage. But we'll see. Yeah. We got this shot and we got one more. We're going to dart out next turn. Hopefully we land this. Nope. He knows we're here though. Yes! Didn't get the leg. Got stealth armor in one location though. Oh, the turrets being accurate. Nice. 100 damage. AC 20 turret hit. Christ, they're doing more than we are. Yes, yeah, stick on them. Did you get them? Exposed the structure though. Hopefully the coolant truck kills that thing. Alright, next turn. Turn round 9. They go on 29. I don't know who it is. Battle armor. I guess we try to swat them off this turn. I don't know what's the best. Like if I knock myself down, a chance we could get injured, but it probably gets them off me, but then... I don't know, it just seems really unreasonable. Yeah. They gotta kill three more buildings. Oh, they hopped off? What did they do? Or they haven't gone yet. Yeah, it's still turn 29. Ooh, ouch. Is that a knockdown? Yep. Have a seat, buddy. I got some more stuff for you in a minute. Drop some initiative off that guy, too. Because fuck him. Actually, he probably goes before all of us. Ow. She's not looking too good. I, I, I don't know what more to do. Honestly, I have no more. I don't know what to do. Wait, where'd the battle armor go? Oh, they're still on him. Okay. Confirmed. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. I wish I could just say, hey, you know, do this. But it's not going to help. Okay, just get in the strike spot. We're going to drop recoil. I don't want to be in the open and give them a shot at me. So let's drop some recoil here. I'm here. Alright. Um, I can't shoot at the guy. The battle armor. 65% from there. Still, I can use machine guns here though, so let's get up there. Maybe the battle armor will look at this guy and go, Hey, let's get the little spider cloud buster thingy. Won't happen, but you never know. Let's try and take this leg. Confirmed. There we go. Good damage. Scored a critical hit. Receiving you. Orders. Let's turn maybe so our back okay. is not facing that prowler back there. I don't that it matters. Alright, uh, what can we use? Standard ammo, because it'll do more damage to internals. Let's go for the torso. Got it. Is that him done? Critical nope. Hit, Commander. Guess he's not XL. Ready for orders. Yo, little buddy, he ain't XL. Roger that. If you miss, please hit the Centurion and get the battle armor off him. I would appreciate that. Uh, SRM's no good. Pot shot for the head. Well, he gets up. Okay. He's going to be unstable forever, so he's not getting any evasion. Not like he's going anywhere anyway. Limpy Limperson's not going anywhere.
I wish I knew. Like, erratic maneuvering, I used that in the past to get the battle armor off me, and it always worked. I've never used the stop run. I've never used the SWAT, so I don't know if swatting them, I don't know if I can move. Like, if I stand still and swat at them, I'm probably doing damage to them. Like, physical damage to keep them up. I don't know. Well. Watch my six. That guy's having a bad day. You got AMS. That's watching your six. What are you worried about? What's on there? Oh, that guy bailed out. He's had it. Pushed a little too far. Fuck, we got one turn after this. I don't know if this Centurion's going to survive this last turn if the battle armor stay attached. Holy shit. Good thing the rotary's in the other arm. Ow. Wide open now. I'm taking internal damage. Yeah, stop whining. At least you don't at least you're not covered with fucking battle armor. There's cuz there's that. I mean, you want to go over there and fight the battle armor? How about you do that instead? You got more armor. If you don't want to do that, then just stay quiet. Got it. Nice. Well, he didn't go for the CT. I say we try erratic maneuvering again. It's not going to get us far enough away from him, though. I don't know. Yep, they did drop off. There they are there. Okay. Helps a little bit. Yeah, no, we're gonna just brace here. Hopefully, because they're gonna they're gonna reboard next turn. Hopefully we can minimize the damage they do. And then, you know, at that point. Oh <laughs> thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Yes, just fucking kill those guys, please. I'm taking internal damage. I don't care as long as that guy fucking dies. He's gonna remount, but hopefully he'll do significantly less damage. We're based we're braced in the trees too, so that's a forty percent damage reduction, so hopefully we got some survivability there. We'll see. You don't have the juice, buddy. You just don't have it. You gotta kill three buildings this turn. Good luck with that. Ah, but this fucking purifier goes before me. 29. Prowler. Come on, finish him off. Yes. Excellent. Vanguard is gone. Oh, that's the support lance. Never mind. What are you doing, you fuckers? Yeah, he's back on me again. It's the left side. I'm cool with that. I'm taking a pounding. Yeah, that's fine. You're fine. I don't know what you're worried about. In one turn, they have to leave you anyway. Armistice goes up. Well, it's not really armistice, but... You know what I mean. They gotta give up. This guy goes on 23. We did a pretty good job. I mean, they don't have anything left. They got two battle armor. The Corsair. Which has been completely useless. And two mechs on this side, and that's it. Uh, that's it. They don't have anything else left. I think we did a pretty good job with this one. What are you doing? Oh. Should have done that earlier, but whatever. Now that turret's gonna shoot you. Standing by. Well, as much as I'd like to help you out, we have shit to kill. These two mechs are open for business. Now the question is, what do I want more? So the raven is kind of nice, but if we kill it... See, here's the problem. If we kill the raven, we're not going to get enough parts. But if we kill this guy, there might be... Because this guy bailed out. 
and he lost a leg. It's probably two parts in the store in the thing. That we might get enough parts from this thing to be able to get a full one in the roll. I'm not going to go after them, but if we can get them in the roll, then that would be good. Critical hit, Commander. All right. Standing by. Affirmative. So they've, everybody has gone except for their Corsair. We're going to try for this guy. It's just the thing we're going to do. Orders. Mm, let's not put the vehicle between us and the target. Because you know damn well we're going to hit it. All right, here we go. Tags on. Good damage. We got the double twenty still, so. Ready for orders. He's the, this is the only guy that can't get a shot at him though. But. On it. It is the last turn, and these guys still can't go. Right? Right? Walking on target. Wow, nothing hit. One laser. Fail to connect. Eight, eight damage. Yeah, well. Damage. Uh, yep. I'm switching to PPCs, just so you know. It was a nice it was a nice idea. Uh, but we're going PPC. We're gonna try that for next time. I'll reload it out. Shouldn't take too long. Please the the double lands. I'm going to be so happy. Just land the double. Even if it doesn't kill him. Damn deal, <laughs> oh, God. So good. It's so good. Oh. It's so good. Too little, too late. That's it. Oh, we got our turrets to go still. They could kill this guy, conceivably. Oh. Orders. Boomer. Let's try one more time. I bet you erratic maneuvering. I'm going to swap them. Okay, so I lose my entire turn. They lose initiative. But they're just going to go before me next turn anyway and jump right back on. So what the fuck? That's so useless. I can't swap them and move at the same time. Oh well. Alright, well, at least we got them off us. It makes it plausible that we can be extracted and not killed. Oh, Alright. Mission successful. Yeah, that's, um... Just thinking about that battle armor. So you swat them off. Like, let's say you... You do a vigilance. How are the kills? Pretty even across the board here. That's actually pretty nice to see. That's nice to see. Everyone's getting kills in here. We did take a bit of damage though, eh? We didn't lose anything though. That's the amazing thing. Like that arm can easily be replaced. Avatar didn't get, take any internals. Took a little bit of a, like a light engine hit here. Rotary got damaged because of firing. The one arm. Yeah, like we got so lucky on this. But if you think about it, that's a little bit like, like so you do a vigilance try to get bonus initiative and for like a light battle mech that's fine because you can get ahead of the game and get no problem but for a heavy battle mech why would you ever choose swat them off like you you can't do anything right and it's really an uh, it's an unrealistic game mechanic because think about it okay the battle armor is tough right but if you grab one like i mean some mechs don't have hands but if you have a mech with hands and you grab them you're going to squash that thing completely. Like, you're just going to squash it into nothing because it weighs like one pound, like one ton, right? It's like nothing. Yeah, it's structurally sound. It's got a lot of armor, but you're going to crush it. So technically, you could hold two of them. I don't know. I guess there's, I mean, there's no way to test it, right? There's, there's no way to test it. You can talk about it in theory, but there really is no way to test it. So... Um... I'm just blowing shit out my ass. You know that. Okay, so uh, no fire truck parts, which sucks. 
Okay, I'd like to have a fire truck again, but uh, it's so sad. Okay, so the Ryokin is completely destroyed. TBM 20 carrier. Well, that's interesting. Okay, large improved heavies. Medium X Pulse, MML 9. They didn't have any um, quick sell stuff this time, which is kind of disappointing. Bunch of clan gear. But no. Um, so two light engines. Nothing else there. Ener energy accuracy. That could be good for the PPCs. If we go with the PPC build. XL gyro. Double heatsink kits. We've got one still. We've got the prototype double heatsink kit too that we haven't used yet. Is there any prototype double heatsinks here? There are. They're all in singles. We've got seven of them though. Oh, Nova CEWS as well. Hmm. I wonder if... Oh, tracker sensors. Shit. Shit. So if we take the, en oh man, we could take the energy accuracy, we could take the tracker sensors and go with the PPC build on the avatar using the prototype double heatsink kit that we have. That would be devastating. Although these TBM20s, man, did any of them go into the, uh, I didn't see them in the loot table here. Yeah, there they are. But I'm thinking, because we are trying to get up and wait, we take the three Orion parts. It's one ballistic, three laser, two missile. That's a good Centurion um, upgrade right there. We upgrade the Centurion to the Orion. Keep maintain the rotary two. Figure out what we're going to do with lasers and missiles. I mean, we can't put all the LRMs on there, but... I don't know if we have a couple of quick sell LRM 20s. If we do, we can drop those on there. Because that'll be 40 tubes for, for 10 tons. So let's grab these three. And then I think we grab as much as... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff here and I could do a lot of builds. And if I was doing an offline playthrough, sure. But we're going to grab this guy. And then we're going to grab the... These guys. So this becomes the Centurion. These two and the PPCs go into the Avatar with the prototype double heatsink kit and all the prototype double heatsinks. I think that's how we play this. Let's try that and see. Okay, we got two parts of the Ballista. That's interesting. Panzer Halbitze. Phoenix Hawk part. We might have enough to put a Phoenix Hawk together, not that it matters, but oh, we got the Ryokin part. Nice. ER medium, regular medium. I think we can just get rid of the regular medium lasers. SRM4. Let's hold on to it for now. Basic cockpit can go. The 180 core can go. Stand. We got pooch on the rest. Oh, well, the double heat sinks. That's not bad. The clan double heat sinks. Jump jets can go. Wow. A lot of garbage down here. LBX slug ammo. Incendiary LRM ammo. All right, we'll keep that. And a Guardian ECM. It's one of the things we've been really weak on right now is ECMs. So that's uh, actually a welcome addition. Okay, so not too, too bad, I guess. 274,000 in damages. Yeah, well, it was worth it, though. We got an Orion out of that. So that's not too bad. Let's have a look at uh, the mech bay real quick here before we go. So we should have all three mech bays up and running. And I think we're pretty close to getting the third one operating at 100%. So we're going to go to the storage. I'm definitely going to pull that forward. As soon as the Centurion's back from being repaired... I'm uh, dropping that out. So we're going to bring you forward. We've only got the three parts, so let's ready you. That mech you wanted is back online. Yeah, that's nice. Weird. Well, not, I don't say a weird mix of weapons, but it's an interesting mix of weapons. All right. Um, let's see what we get out of this. It doesn't look like much, but it looks like the arms and everything are intact, which is kind of nice. It should lower the uh, the cost to repair. Okay, we've got the ER medium, streak six, another ER medium. So all the internals are gone, but the arms look like they're pretty intact here. So let's repair it all. Okay, so I mean, it could have been better, but it could have been way worse. 
Could have got nothing out of that. We'll strip the gear. Uh, 655,000. We're close to... Well, we're, we should be fine. Mm, do I want to wait? Let's wait. Got to hold off here for a second. Because um, we're not quite at the end of the month yet. Let's see here. 14 days for the upgrade there. You're injured now for a bit. 24 days to the end of the month. But we're, rely we're relying on the primary lance to do all of the work to make money now. Because that secondary lance will not be back in time. I will bring the avatar up to the top though. So we've got these two working at 100%. This is working at 50%. So we should get these back all in a couple of days. Ooh, Vindicator needs to move up. Like that, I think. Uh, like that. Mm, no, like that. That'll get them back slightly faster. And then we figure out what we do. The rabbit coyote, I don't know. We're almost at a point now. We gotta jump. We'll run with the man, main lance, I think, for a bit, but then we gotta jump. Um, because I think, um, uh, we gotta get more pilots, because I gotta get a third lance going, one that we can make some sea bills from, and I'm not sure, I might do it as another quick sell lance, like a lighter quick sell lance, I don't know. The problem is, is that our heavy lance is getting too heavy, and our main lance is still a little too light, so we're kind of have to hover around two skull planets to be able to balance off the play. So we may want to do another medium lance, maybe. So maybe we drop, like, we leave the Orion here. The Centurion will rebuild and put down here. Rabid Coyote can go down here. And then we have a few others. We've got a Bushwhacker we can bring forward. Pirate Bushwhacker. That's, a, like, maybe this is the replacement for the Centurion then. We've got a Bombard we can bring forward. I think we're... I think we bring the Bombard forward because we haven't played with those before, but maybe we bring a Hunchback forward too. Now the Bushwhacker is a better deal, I think. Bring the Whacker forward. Maybe we do replace the Centurion with the Bushwhacker. Bring the Bombard forward and then... We got a Heavy Chariot. Mortar 8, Light AC 5. And what else? Tandem Thunderbolt 15, Medium Rifle. Hmm. Because we could put together a silver bullet hunchback. Talos is just too slow. It's just too slow. But let me think about it. I mean, if you guys drop some comments down below. What do you think, the third lance? I mean, I'm thinking Bushwhacker Bombard. Maybe we leave the Centurion because it'll be cheaper. Go Rabid Coyote. Like a melee mech, you know, and then we'll put the Bushwhacker in, in the uh, lead role as fire support. Centurion, I mean, we're losing the gear on the inside, so maybe it's just an AC-10 build? Or maybe we maybe we do an AC-20 build on this. Maybe we put the uh, the double 20 in there. You know, Rabbit Coyote for melee, and then whatever else here. The Bombard, I don't know, maybe just direct fire. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, this lance is actually advancing a little faster than I thought it would. So, and we've got parts of a trebuchet. So we should be up in the medium range, which means this will be fine, which means we can go to two and a half skull planet and get between like three and a half and one and a half skull missions. So one and a half milk runs. Yeah, I think that's what we do. We, we've got to get sea bills though. So that's the primary goal. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.